But I want to, we're going to get to that uh, manhunt in just a moment, but I want to begin with the breaking news. It's out of North Carolina right now. The state legislature during a special session failing tonight to repeal that controversial bathroom bill. I want to get to CNN's Nick Valencia. He joins us now by phone from Riley. Uh, Nick, good evening to you. Tell us what happened. Well, a lot happened at the same time, not very much. There was political, uh, political antics on both sides of the aisle, Democrats and Republicans. Ultimately, it was a core group of House Republicans that were unwilling to change their support for HB2, unwilling to vote no or unwilling to repeal the uh, House bill, the controversial House bill known as the bathroom bill. Uh, earlier this morning, there was uh, no shortage of drama, Don. It started this morning with Jeff Collins, a representative uh, in the Republican Party, saying that today's special session was unconstitutional, saying there was no extraordinary reason for the special session to be, caused, uh, to be called, so therefore everything should be null and void. By the mid-afternoon, there was a Senate bill that was proposed, but it was not a full repeal of House Bill 2. Earlier this week, there was a deal brokered between uh, Republicans and Democrats in the state of North Carolina. If they took care of a non-discrimination ordinance in Charlotte, voted to rescind that, then the pathway would presumably be cleared to repeal House Bill 2. That didn't happen today. And Nick, you know, speaking of this House Bill 2, that this bill has already cost the state a lot of money. The NBA, the NCAA pulled out of their championship games from the state. A whole host of companies said they could no longer do business in North Carolina. And Bruce Springsteen and many other artists canceled performances. Will there be even more fallout? Nick, can you hear me? I can hear you now, Don. There yeah. you go. I can hear you. Yeah, I, 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 I talked I, about I, I the, the artists and the amount of money that the state has lost, and I'm wondering if there's going to be more fallout from artists pulling out and, the, and, and sports uh, organizations pulling out from, from doing business there. Well, that's the concern. There's been an estimated $650 million lost as a result of House Bill 2. If you talk to state Democrats, they say uh, the, the, the House Bill 2 has been just incredibly detrimental to the economy here in North Carolina. And as it stands right now, House Bill 2 is still a law. They adjourned earlier tonight without coming to a conclusion on whether or not to repeal House Bill 2. So as it stands today... It is still law in North Carolina. Transgender people still need to use the bathroom that corresponds with the gender on their birth certificate, not how they identify. That is unacceptable to state Democrats, especially when you consider this deal that was brokered earlier this week, reportedly between House leadership and Senate leadership. Uh, that didn't happen today, and it was an incredibly embarrassing moment. You could just tell the energy started with incredible optimism and hope for state Democrats. I interviewed one of the representatives, Chris Scrow. Uh, one of the only openly gay uh, representatives here in the state of North Carolina. And his feeling was this morning that he was very hopeful that there would be a repeal and a vote to happen by midday. By about 2 o'clock, 3 p.m. Eastern, it was very clear that that vote was not going to happen. Uh, that's when the Senate came back with their bill. But what all that bill did, Don, was it proposed a moratorium, a six-month moratorium on any non-discrimination ordinances proposed in municipalities. It was not a full repeal which uh, evidently with the deal brokered between these two parties. So they decided not to go forward with that. They adjourned without coming to a clear resolution and conclusion on what to do with the so-called bathroom bill. And of course, what happens next? We'll continue to follow Nick Valencia reporting from North Carolina. And Nick, thank you very much for that. I appreciate it. Lots going on tonight. We want to get to the other breaking news, a manhunt for the terror suspect in Germany.